Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And we are going to be celebrating one of my captains. I like to do this from now and then and just to say thank you to them. If you don't know, I have a Facebook group called Ginger's Corner where we do embellishment swaps. And I say we because all of you are welcome to come and join us. We swap in Europe, in Canada, in Australia, and of course in the United States. I could not do that without my beautiful, amazing captains. All of them are precious to me. They are wonderful ladies. Um, a gentleman could join us later, but for now, it's all of us ladies who are crafty, giving of their time and of their work. And without them, we would have one swap. Not as many as we do. We would not have as many games. We would not have as much fun. They are truly special to me. And earlier this year, I did quite a few captains because I didn't have any series or any hops I was participating in. And it's kind of slowed down, but as I have said in the past, I'm going to say now, I'm gonna come back now and then with a project I'm gonna share with you where I have lifted up one of my captains and told them thank you. So if you're interested in that, um, I will put the other videos below and you're welcome to um, check that out. Um, we've basically been doing little pocket projects, journals. We've done um, several different ways. I took um, for Miss Barb was the last one I did and I made her a ephemera booklet basically. And that's kind of what I've done again for Captain Lori. But um, I had a lot of scrap paper. So I <laughs> used that instead of using a store-bought one. And I want to show you different ways you can send your friends happy mail. I, I truly... You know what? There's no wrong way to do it. Do whatever makes you feel happy. We need to share our things. Um, this is not just for me. This is from her fellow captains as well. And so Lori, I want to thank you. You have been with me for a long time. I appreciate you. You are always so generous, kind, not only of your time, but your friendship to me personally. And I am so, so lucky to have you as a scrappy friend and someone who inspires me. I love your work and um, your kindness truly blesses my heart and encourages me to share that even more. So let's just see what all I've got. So this is a six by six ephemera book that I made. Now I've just used some jump rings and yes, it's ginormous. <laughs> I probably need a bigger jump rings, but you know, the captain sent her lots of goodies. So what I have done is I have taken six by six double-sided paper. I have embellished it. You're going to see the different pockets as we flip through it. Um, and I've just placed it on jump rings. So if Lori wants to add to it later, if she wants to make this an actual journal, she sure can. There's no, no wrong way. So the front page here, I used a Timu die that I have. Let's see, did I already put it away? I think I already put it away. Um, and I, um, put her name for lovely Lori. She likes bold colors. Um, uh, she prefers like the rainbow colors, primary colors. Tried to stick with that, but you could totally make this for your scrappy friend and send her some goodies as well. And this is just what I happened to come up with. I made, this is a die also gotten off of Timu. It is a corner pocket die and you will see there are goodies inside of here um, from her fellow captains. Now I'm going to send her a little something, but I'm going to leave that as a surprise. So um, I used a piece of chipboard here, this pretty hummingbird. Then this is just your basic pocket. That's all that's here. It's stuffed with all kinds of beautiful ephemera, um, baseball and outdoor and all kinds of pretty stuff. Um, another simple pocket. These are, let's see, I'm trying to think who were these from? Oh, I don't remember. I, I did, Lori, when you watch this, I did try to keep all the um, ephemera together. I believe these were from Terry, Captain Terry. Um, and this was from Captain Nadine all the way in Canada. She sent a bunch. Now this is temporary. You can take this off and use this. Um, decorate this however you want. You could, she could add um, some journaling pages to this and she could make this a journal if she wanted to. Or maybe she'll make it, um, she'll put a specific kind of embellishments inside of here and she'll have that where she stores them. This is a pocket tag. 
die that I also got off of Timu and I love because it has three different pockets. And so I just filled them up here. Let's see if I can get these in here. <laughs> I got a lot stuffed in here, y'all. It's a lot. That's okay. Makes it fun, right? Lori, I hope you have a lot of fun going through this. I know I speak for everyone when I say everyone had fun making goodies for you to celebrate you this time. And then we've got these. I believe this is from Mallory. Isn't that pretty? A pretty little title. Um, she likes titles. This is some baseball little goodies that she made for um, Lori. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to set this aside because I don't want to mess it up. That's a little bit fragile. Then she also sent some uh, rub-ons for Lori. These um, were from Cheryl. So again, Lori's grandson plays baseball. So there were lots of baseball ephemera in here, which is not easy to find by any means. So the captains definitely hooked her up with some ephemera for that. Let's put this in here. I'll just save that one for later. And then this here, oh, I don't remember. I think these were from Captain Paula. She made some beautiful tags that match very well. Aren't they just gorgeous? Gorgeous, little shimmering um, things. And then this over here is some embellishments from past swaps. You know, a lot of the captains, they don't get to share ephemera with each other because they're your captains, so they don't get to swap. So. Um, she's shared some of her, her yellow submarine, her music swap. There's some titles tucked back there. Um, this is just a double pocket where I just took two strips. I glued them on each side so I could layer these embellishments in there. This is just your standard pocket. I took a hole punch. I've shown you guys how to do all that. You guys know, you don't need me for that. Then we've got some faith embellishments here. Um, cause she requested some <clears throat> faith stuff as well. Because we kind of asked the captains, um, we actually have a captain's chat group where, and a place where we all gather so we can um, work together to make the group as good as it is and better or whatever we need to do. It's not run by just me. I really mean it when I tell you guys, without these beautiful people, I could not do this. I could not do what I do. All right, and then I took a envelope that came in my team order. And I simply just um, uh, filled it up with more uh, goodies for Faith, put one of the tags that someone sent here. I'm not sure who sent these. Um, and I then took a piece of washi tape, doubled it over, stick that right there just to hold it shut like so. Decorated it with some pretty little gold what is this called? I know I should know what this is called. Every time I do this, you guys forget what this is called. It's not twine. It's what we put on tags. Yeah, I know. Somebody's going to tell me again. <laughs> One day I might remember. <laughs> then I've just got another, a different corner pocket that I bought on t -Mail. I kind of direct deck decorated with some stickers here or there, um, some adventure titles someone sent, some uh, banners, pretty banners someone sent, some enamel dots and some star puppies again gifted then these are just stickers like the ones you see decorated in here and then let's see another pocket with lots of goodies adventure title lot, lots of titles lots of titles and tags and all kinds of fun stuff again i washi taped this one shut here's another envelope full of all kinds of stickers and ephemera and wonderful stuff um some uh oh on foam Let's see here. I can't even think. Maybe if I pull them out, I can think of the word. <laughs> Mason jars. There we go. I got it. Um, stickers that somebody had sent for Miss Lori, one of the captains. So I'll put all that back in there. I mean, this thing is stuff full. I'm, I'm not kidding at all. I had to washi tape it because it wouldn't stay down. Then we've got a popped up on foam pocket here for some thinner embellishments. I just put the border strips to match in case she wanted to use them. And then um, there was a little border strips. I think that Nadine sent this one as well. Then in here are some tags from Josie. Um, this little pocket, Michelle, Captain Michelle already made with a bunch of different little embellishments. So you know what? It was a primary color and I thought, oh, we can just leave it right in there and I'll just stick it in here. It's a cute little pocket. So that's that. Then some baseball goodies, some tags. This was from Sherry, I remember. Um, wonderful things from her fellow captains, for sure. So um, 
I hope you guys will be inspired, right? You could do this on a three by three scale and maybe just get some smaller jump rings. You could do this on an eight and a half by 11 scale. Send some happy mail to your friends, right? Send a little thank you. It doesn't have to be this big, but it could be small. Just, you know, they really like hearts. So make them a little flip book. Cause that's basically what this is, is a flip pocket book for ephemera and send them some happy goodness, some happy goodness. Bless one another, right? She's also gonna get her, her fellow captains um, sent her a lot of other things. Barb sent her some beautiful stamped images that she could fussy cut. Aren't those lovely? And then some papers were sent for her. Um, oh, there's a little guy. We'll have to stick him in here too. I don't know where he's going to go, but join the family. <laughs> then here's some puppy simple stories goodies. This was from Terry, as well as all this chipboard is from Terry. So she has other things coming that I'm not showing in the video. Um, some beautiful florals. Um, they just wouldn't fit in the book. Uh, Lori, thank you again. You guys, thanks for just hanging out with me basically today while I share what I've created for the captain to tell her thank you. Lori is amazing. Um, a lot of, we have a lot of new members that might not know her yet because she's been really busy this summer, but um, make no mistake, without my captains, without Lori and others and Barb and Mallory and Shannon and Nadine and Solfred and, and Karen from Australia, without them, we could not do the swaps that we do. If you would love to be a part of this group, you don't have to swap. You can just come hang out with us. You can share what you're making and inspire others truly, truly invite you to do so. Remember to answer those three questions so that I know you understand the concept of the group of giving and receiving with a loving heart and that you understand there's no wrong way. There really isn't. Um, and that we know you're not a robot because you never know. And we'll invite you with open arms. I am very, very lucky to have the support system I have through Lori and um, through um, Peggy and who helps me run the faith swaps and everyone, I know I'm forgetting everyone, um, Cheryl and Paula. And I just, I am very lucky to have all you ladies and you never know who we're going to be celebrating next time. I will get to it as soon as I can, but I will definitely be back with another, um, lifting up one of the captains and just celebrating them. I hope you're inspired. Like I said, and I hope you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye. See you next time.